What's up, good peoples? Your guy Ben here, bringing that blazing hot tea straight from scorched earth today. We're talking about the finality of Prince Harry's complete ostracization from the very family he turned his back on. It pains me to say, but Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, just dropped some harsh realities that I couldn't sugarcoat. According to the man who witnessed the people's prince's life up close, there is officially no way back for her son. That's right, after years of relentless betrayal, mudslinging, from the Duke of Defection, the drawbridge has been permanently raised. Harry's delusion of being able to swan back into the monarchy's good graces on a whim has finally been disabused for good. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on, I'd like to thank you for your enormous love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Let's get down to business. So in Burrell's own words, the writing's on the wall. Too much has been said. The drawbridge is up and there's no way back for Harry. I couldn't have put that death knell for his royal status any more bluntly myself. Of course, leave it to that ginger to naively think flying back briefly. For King Charles's cancer saga would somehow make everything hunky-dory. As if putting on a hollow uniform display for Willie and Pops could simply erase the deep wounds. Well, Harry clearly underestimated the sheer permanence of his burnt bridges because... In the brutally candid opinion of the man closest to, to Diana, any potential reconciliation is simply not possible in the royal family's eyes or the public's eyes. You've got to truly be living in an alternate reality to think you can smear, gaslight or commercialise your family's legacy for profit. Only then to make play, make believe royal soldier when it suits your whims. The audacity of the delusional twerp is staggering. But the real kicker? Even Paul Burrell sees right through Harry's cheap ploys for what they really are, a pathetic attempt to have one foot in the camp and one out. In other words, the petulant entitled brat truly believes he can mooch off the residual benefits and clout that come with being HRH without actually upholding any of the nobility it demands. That's precisely why the wise Burrell insists Prince William has drawn a line in the sand against the sad mockery, carrying on any longer, no more rewarding his baby brother's tantrums, with even an inch of good faith or confusion over where their fractured loyalties lie. In Willie's eyes, Harry's burnt that family bridge to the ground with his own two traitorous hands years ago. Now it's time for the disgraced Duke to fully embrace the permanent outcast prince status he signed up for. No more bamboozling or paying both sides. At the end of the day, there's too much damage and disgrace imprinted on the Sussex legacy to ever allow them to slither back home scot-free. His job as a member of the royal family is over, according to Burrell, and the longer Harry holds out that delusion the worse his humiliation will become. So what will happen next? Only time will tell, but don't worry, I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. We'll see you again soon for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.